do watch this video before you book your trip to the Big Island. Don't click away. That was lame. It, it fits the theme of the video. Nope, I expect more from me. This is our annual Big Island Travel Guide for 2024. We've been doing this for quite a few years now. Oh yeah, oh, So yeah. we don't always agree, but <laughs> we do agree on these tips. Help you save some money on the Big Island, show you what to do, where to stay, we're gonna cover it all. Have the best vacation. That is what we're trying to do. That is, that have is the best vacation to too. Yeah. Exactly, we're on the Big Island right now. We're staying in the Manolani, the villages, Anyways, I'm Jordan. I'm Erica. This is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. <laughs> Erica's gonna explain the video. We we were we were I guess we were a little bored with just doing another another guide. Twelve video. tips on the big island. Yeah. yeah. So we've decided to do uh, do this, don't do that. Just a little bit of mistakes plus like helpful insights on things to do. We are gonna go fast because we like to talk fast. And we're just gonna keep these punchy for you, all right? So we'll start off with number one. You got something to say? I was gonna say we're going fast because we're going to the beach after this. Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do stay on the leeward side, don't stay on the windward side. Mm. So West Hawaii is the leeward side of the island. That's yeah. the drier side of the island. You get better ocean conditions, you get less rain, you get more sunshine, it is where you'll find most of the resorts, vacation rentals, and hotels to stay in, right? So West Hawaii is home to Kailua Kona, the Kona Coast. Then up above that, you have the Kohala Coast. Yep. Kohala Coast, you find a lot of luxury hotels up there. Yeah. Five star hotels, four star hotels. You have the Waikoloa Beach Resort, which we're gonna come out with a video guide on that. So like, there's a lot of nice places to stay. We also like to stay in Kona Coffee Country. Ooh. There's some nice vacation rentals up there. Really good place to eat up there. Yeah. So it's really nice. Kailua Kona has more like two, three star hotels. I will say, we don't really mean never stay yeah, on stuff. the east side. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't stay on the windward side. You can stay on the windward side. It's just know what you are staying there for. So if you want to do all the activities that are over there, if you really like that more lush rainforest mm -hmm. feel, and that is what you are going into your vacation expecting, stay over there. It's just we get a lot of emails from people who are like, I'm staying in Hilo and it's raining every day in the winter. Why is this happening? Yeah. So Hilo, Hilo's a rainforest climate. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so nice and wet over there. And also in Hilo, you just have a lot of two and three star hotels. You don't have as many hotel options. Yeah. You can also stay in Volcano. That's right next to Volcano's National Park. So if Kilauea is erupting, which it's not right now, but it might be, click the link down below to, to get an update from the USGS. Mm -hmm. Volcano's a nice place to stay with some vacation rentals there or like fur and forest. But Anyways. if you are like a majority of people who are looking for sun and some nice beaches and a little relaxation. West Hawaii. West Hawaii, the leeward side will be for you. All right, number two, comment request. Put a comment down below because we know a lot of people watch this are seasoned Big Island travelers. They mm -hmm. come out here every year. They're always looking for a few more tips. So if you have a tip you want to share that we missed, share it down below. Thank you. Number two, do a luxury trip if it's your honeymoon or special anniversary. Don't go cheap. <laughs> he doesn't listen to his own advice. No, no, we try to go cheap a lot, actually. We try to save money. But the Big Island is nice because of those luxury hotels over on the South Kohala Coast. So, like, you got the Fairmont Orchid. You have the... Manolani. Oh, the Manolani. I'm sorry. You have the Four Seasons. There's some wonderful four-star hotels, resorts. We have a video up above on our favorite resorts or luxury resorts on the Big Island. So, you can go big here, right? Now, you got to pick what's right for you, obviously, with your price. If you're looking for better cost accommodations, look at Kailua Kona. Mm. Look at Hilo. Look at maybe a vacation rental, especially if you got a bigger group with you. You know, you can cook in and stuff like that. The big thing is we always recommend booking a hotel first when you come to Hawaii because that's going to be your biggest cost. Mm -hmm. So find that hotel, book it, and then book the flights in the rental car. Really lock down those places to stay. So when you come out to the Big Island, do visit Volcanoes National Park, but don't think that you have to stay there. While the Big Island is very big, very big. it is very big, you can absolutely make a day trip, especially if you just want to go hiking and see the volcano. It'll be a long day trip, but it's a great day trip. It's about a two hour drive from Kailua Kona to go south. There's a lot of cool places to stop along the way. We share all that in our itinerary, the Big Island Wayfinder itinerary. There's our little promo for right now. It's a wonderful itinerary because we love the Big Island. We have excellent excursion days to take you around the island. One of them is visiting volcanoes in one day. We show you all the best places to go, like the Black Sand Beach, how to tour Volcanoes National Park efficiently while still seeing a lot of great stuff and then getting back. So check out the itinerary down below to learn more. 
Also though, you can say in Volcano Village, you can say right on the rim of the crater. We did that one year at Volcano House. Really cool place, this old vintage hotel. Don't expect a lot, but you're right there on the crater. And I mean, if Kilauea starts erupting again, it's been on and off for the last two years, on and off. It's always like inflating, it has a little eruption. So hopefully Kilauea does start erupting this year safely. And if it does, it's gonna get busy. Best tip on that, the park is open for 24 hours. So if you wanna avoid the crowds, they actually recommend going like two, three in the morning. Wow. Then it's dark, you see the glow from the caldera and no one's around. I won't be it's there. wonderful, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so Volcano House in Volcano National Park is at 4,000 feet elevation. So it does get chilly. Henry, are you cold? Yeah, he's a little cold. So it does get chilly up here. So bring warm clothes, especially if you're staying to see the crater at night. It cools off a lot. Last time we were here, it got down to 52 degrees and Erica didn't want to leave the car. And if you are trying to figure out how to do volcanoes in a day or do any other sightseeing around the Big Island, we have you covered with our Big Island Wayfinder itinerary. These itineraries take you on excursion days to different parts of the island so you can see the best things, eat at the best places, make sure you don't miss a thing with our planned out routes. These are really helpful. Trust us, we take the stress out of your vacation planning so you know you get it right. Do learn the culture while you're here. Don't shortchange your experience. The Big Island has the most historical national parks of any island. You can visit an ancient heiau. You can visit Pu Honua, which is the place of refuge. It is a gorgeous place to visit. It's not necessarily a park for you to relax at, but you learn the history and the culture of the Hawaiian people. And there's just a lot of cool things to do here. I mean, King Kamehameha lived and finished his reign here in Kailua Kona. Mm. So anyways, learn the culture while you're here. A good way to do that is to go on a guided tour. The tour guide will talk that up for you. If not, check out one of these national historical parks. Lava on West Hawaii. Pu'u honua oho now now. Thank you. Also too, you can learn about the land, the aina, how to respect it so you don't go off the beaten path. The Big Island has their Pono Pledge, which I find is a very official way to travel respectfully to all the Hawaiian Islands. And to be honest, it applies to all over the world. It's yeah. the same concept wherever you go. Next one is do get off the beaten path but don't be confused by my double speak. Mm. All right, mm -hmm. so a good way to get off the beaten path is to visit a farm. Oh, we yeah. love farm tours. It's a great way to like, like get out of there, get dirty, like eat some really good food, learn what the farmers are going through, how they're kind of developing a new economy and growing really cool stuff. This trip, we did a vanilla farm. I it's, learned so much. It was our second vanilla farm tour on the Big Island. Yeah. This one was over on the Hamakua Coast Hawaiian Vanilla Company. Yeah. The ice cream was excellent. It was a great tour. It gave us lots of amazing facts. I mean, I kind of want to start a vanilla farm. I mean, yeah. no, it's hard. <laughs> but that's what we learned. We learned that about, was yeah. the takeaway. Yeah, they, they're just trying to do a co-op now. All right, so we are starting the tasting and then getting some cooking tips. Yeah. So was, there's a lot of great farm tours. We have an article down below. It's a really good way to get off the beaten path. I mean, Big Island bees, we, we've done a lot of them. Yeah. They're wonderful. Do book early. Don't try and put it off. I mean, this goes for anywhere you want to travel in the world. Try and book it as early as you can to look for those great deals. So what do you recommend for booking? So I, you know, if you can, try and book your plane tickets like six months in advance. Mm -hmm. And then also recheck them again because we rechecked our flights for this trip and they had dropped significantly. And same with rental car. Rental car rates can also go down. So check those rates. We like to use Discount Hawaii Car Rental because there's no prepayment. So you can always check rates and then rebook if necessary. Mm -hmm. So good ways to save. And speaking of rental cars. Do rent a car, don't rely on public transport. So you can totally get around the island using public transport, mm -hmm. but we feel like you can just see more of the island by renting a car. Yeah. What we like to say is if you want a beach vacation, don't rent a car. Just enjoy the resort, enjoy the beach, but then rent a car to go out and explore the island. Yeah. It's a good way to save money, reduce the number of cars on the road, but the big island is big. And if you want to really explore all of it, it's nice to have a rental car to get around. Just be prepared for how big the big island is because it takes a long time <laughs> to drive around. So it's 63% of the Hawaiian landmass is the big island. So all the other islands can fit on the big island. They still have room to spare. Wow. Do visit Kilauea if it is erupting. Don't skip that experience. Over the last two years, like I mentioned, it's been on and off again erupting. So check the USGS website, link down below to see if it's about to erupt or if it is erupting. And then we'll have a link to the National Park and the best viewing location. So hopefully you get to experience Kilauea erupting because it is magical.
And man, if you want to stay in the know on when it is erupting and really、uh, a lot of other things, do sign up for our newsletter. Don't miss that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We have a newsletter where 50,000 people are on it. We share lots of travel information, advice. Comes out every two weeks. I love writing it. <laughs> people like he, reading it. He does a great <laughs> job. And this video is just a snapshot in time, right? We are recording、yep. this at the end of 2023 <clears throat> to help you with your 2024 planning. But things can change, and they will. And new tours can come up, or new experiences. And all this Sign、stuff. up for the newsletter. You will learn、yeah. about it in the newsletter. <laughs> Do visit Kailua Kona. Don't think it's touristy. It is a little touristy. Yeah. It can be even a little gritty at times too. But Kailua Kona still is this. It's a fun place. Totally. Right. The cruise ship stops there. It has a lot of T-shirt stands, but it has some great coffee shops. It has some great restaurants. It has a great places to view the sunset and、mm. have happy hour. So I like Kailua Kona. Oh, the breweries are excellent too. Like Ola Brewing, Ola、mm. Brew. That's wonderful. You can find their beer at major grocery stores around the island, but come here to get the food and have some good local beer.、Mm -hmm. Do take your time when driving around Hawaii. Don't drive during rush hour. The population on this island has gone up considerably in the last 20 years, so there's a lot more traffic on the road, especially around Kailua Kona around rush hour.、Oh, yeah. That gets a lot of people,、uh, especially when you're coming down from Kona Coffee Country. So since you're on vacation, try to avoid those times or leave super early, like if you're heading to Volcanoes National Park, so you don't get stuck in traffic. We got stuck in a little bit when we were visiting Kona Coffee Country on this trip, but anyways, so just avoid it. You were on vacation. You're on Hawaii time. Do make sure you get really good advice. And you know what? We have over 400 articles on our website. We have a full Big Island guide. It gives you so much stuff and our free cheat sheets. So make sure you go to the HawaiiVacationGuide.com and check that out because we have so many resources for your trip, including the best snorkeling tours, the best manta ray tours, how to do stargazing. We've got it all. We've got it all. You are covered. Oh, that's a good one too. Do book a tour when you're on the Big Island.、Mm. Don't book it later in your trip. So we did stargazing this time.、Oh, yeah. It was wonderful, but we booked at the beginning of our trip. Thank goodness we did because it got cloudy, so they canceled it. We had to rebook.、Yep. It worked out perfectly.、Exactly. The kids loved it. We saw so many stars. We saw the rings of Saturn and Jupiter and zoomed in on the moon, stargazing. You don't have to go to the top of Mauna Kea to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's excellent. We're gonna end this by saying, do check out our itineraries. There you go. Don't don't make vacation planning hard on yourself because yeah, we, we got you covered.、Out. We got it for you. Yeah. What's uh What's your favorite Big Island experience? Uh. I mean, I, I don't want to take yours, so I won't take yours. I was gonna say yours is the manta ray night snorkeling. Oh no, take that! Oh, you are, okay. Take, I'm gonna say、yeah. manta ray night snorkeling. <laughs> I think probably because I didn't think I was going to like it that much because、yeah. I don't like being cold. I wasn't cold though, and I don't really like swimming in the dark because who does? But <laughs> I went out with the guy to tour. At, yeah, in the ocean.、Mm. Uh, I'm very scared of sharks. <laughs> but I went out with a guy to tour, and it was magic. I mean, I've done it a number of times now, but it was magical. Yeah,、Magical. the manta rays are beautiful. They come with like an inch of your face. They're majestic, and they're like fifteen to or five to fifteen feet across. They're massive. We've got the best tours down there.、Don't、yeah,、worry. we got the link on that one. So I love manta ray night snorkeling. I tell everybody it's one of the top five thrilling experiences of my life. But this last trip, we went to the top of Mauna Kea. Oh and, yeah. And like I'm a sucker for a sunrise. Maybe because all the hard work to wake up at like four in the morning and drive up there. I mean, it's up to thirteen thousand eight hundred feet. Yeah. And it says the observatories. And we lived on Maui, right? And the big things to do with Haleakala for sunrise is so popular. You need a permit not to go. And I hope we don't make Mauna Kea too busy. I don't think we will. We're not that popular. We're not that popular. <laughs> But it was nice. We got up there. There's only one other car up there. You need four by four to get up there. We rented by from a great local guy. Click down below. Um, but it was just, it was wonderful. The sun came up. It lights up the observatories. The view is just incredible.、Oh, it was, it, it was, was like Erica was and I really, did it. She、yeah. was really sick. She had a nasty cold, so it is hard on her sinuses.、Oh. But it was still worth it. Yeah, it was、worth、very it. much worth it. And the rangers are so nice, so friendly. So、nice. They do like a brake check of them. They give you advice. Make sure you can put in a four wheel low. Do all that good stuff. So, anyways. Anyway, don't miss those two experiences. But there are so many more. So make sure you check out our website because it's packed full with good content for you. She's not selling it. She's really trying to. Help I、me. really、she、love our website. We put so much into yeah, our website. Yeah, we it's been years of building this content,、yeah. and it's good content. I'm proud of it. <laughs> proud I stand of it. by it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, sorry. I'm, I'm just thinking of other stuff I've read online. So I won't, we don't bad mouth other nope. websites. So <laughs> have a wonderful trip to the Big Island. We are filming this end of 2023. We're trying to get out right before the holidays because Christmas is a very busy time in the Big Island. Yeah. It surges. It's one. It's the third busiest month the last two years. Mm. It's essentially just everybody comes right at the end of the year too, which makes a spike. So anyways, I hope this helps for your holiday planning or any planning anytime you go whale watching is december through march we went out last year on puaco bay uh that's kind of like the amazing place to go whale watching here but now whales are even down the kailua kona coast the kona coast so it's nice to go whale watching out we have a link to all of our favorite tours too on our website yeah so yeah check it out on the website guys we're done we're gonna go hit the beach we hope you can come out here too all right thanks so much thank you